Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we've got a little hint right here. Uh, we are going to do our final build of the chicken coop. If you're just joining us, welcome. Consider subscribing. Click that like button and give me a thumbs up. This is gonna be the fourth video in the series of our chicken coop build. And this one may get a little long. Got a lot going on, so let's get started. Okay, so today is door making day. And you see behind me, I've already got one together. I wanted to do one to just see how it worked out, but I just got done gluing up the second door. Let me show it to you. Okay, so there's door number one. And then down here. So I just started gluing up the first boards. I'm trying to emulate the doors by uh, Al on Lumen Acres. And so we'll see how they turn out. You can see that there's two layers of boards running opposite of each other, giving it its structure or strength. And then I'll cut it down to the size that I need for the door opening. Okay, let me explain to you what I'm doing here. So I've got these boards already glued together. Then what I did was I glued down two boards running this way and I've screwed them. Now, put one board on a diagonal and that will get screwed and glued down then every other board is going to come in like this Okay, now that I've got all the boards or all the pieces cut, all I gotta do is just glue them and screw them down. Okay, so we've got the door. We need to cut it down to size, which I've already cut some of it down to size, but I need to square it up so we can get it into the hole I cut in the wall. Let's get started. Now that the door's hung, let's get this handle put on. Pretty nice. Works pretty nice. Again, the doors, the hinges, the latches, everything I've got on here, Al at Lumna Acres, he's the one who showed me this, so thank you very much. Okay, so I drilled a 5 8 inch hole through the back of this door to fit the handle that's gonna be on the back side. Right here. Alright. Back of the door's in. Oh, that's interesting, you can go right through it. So we can open that. Good. All that's left to do is put in the door stops. If you see that, this piece right there, you can see it stops the door. So I'll put in those door stops around the other door and doors will be complete. Uh, 
good? You're happy with that? So the one thing I've been told about chicken coops here in Alaska in a cold climate is that it's best to insulate but give good ventilation. And I should not need to worry about any kind of a uh, supplementary heat or anything like that. So I know people that have had their birds down to negative 20 up here in Alaska. Good insulation and good ventilation, making sure there's no drafts directly on the birds and keeping their feed and their water out. So basically maintaining a moisture free environment in there so that they don't get frostbite. So that's my plan. So if you see these openings on the gable ends or whatever you want to call them, gable ends here, uh, I have a window installed on both sides and then I have that opening and what I'm going to do with that opening is put hardware cloth on that opening and use that as ventilation. Hey, so uh, if you can see right up there, we installed the mesh in that gable end. We made a frame here, let me show you a better shot. So you can see we put the mesh in the gable end. Good ventilation. Let me give you a little shot out. Kind of like that. Looks real good. And then if I ever want to insulate, from the inside I'll take rigid foam and I can fit a triangle right in there if I ever feel that I need to just close that off. Okay, so we're gonna repeat the process on that side and I'll film it for you. I just needed to get this side done so it wasn't a total cluster going forward and trying to film and not know what I'm doing. So trial run on this side, now let's get the other side done. So I'm just going to drill and screw that frame we just built into the chicken coop and then we'll put the hardware cloth on that. All right, so we got the Hardware cloth stapled on. I think it looks pretty good. It's gonna create some good ventilation there on those ends. And then from the inside, there we are, looking pretty good. So here's the linoleum floor that we've decided to go with. Vaughn picked it out, thought, well, your options in linoleum are, are not great, so a wood Faux wood floor seemed like a good idea. Looks okay. It'll uh, give some waterproofness to the plywood and make it a little easier to clean up. So that's the floor we chose to go with. Okay, so today we're gonna do insulation. I bought this uh, Owens Corning inch and a half solid core uh, insulation. Let's get the building insulated. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of insulation. I wanna fill in this crack here if I can. Might as well get this corner. All right, so our first piece is gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna go 21 and three quarter. And then lengthwise, it's going to be 72 and a half.
down. Three to go. Uh, let me finish the insulation and I'll be back. Today, we're at the stage, uh, we got the insulation put in, so I'm gonna sheet the inside of the building. I'm choosing to do that so that the chickens don't peck at the insulation. Okay, so the mission for today is to build the wall that separates the two rooms here. And this is inspired by Lumna Acres when Al built his chicken coop. It's kind of, I'm gonna try to kind of emulate what he did with that wall. I liked how it worked, being able to divide the brooder side from the coop side, but then being able to open it up when you're not brooding chicks. So let's get started. So you can see the wall. So I framed it all the way up and around. And then this whole section across. So attaching to this here and down here, that is going to be, that's all gonna be chicken wire. Little chicks have a place to get through that fence when the big chicks are harassing them. And then when I want to close it completely off, I can for a brooder. And then I can open it up whenever all the chickens are kind of at the same size and no one's getting beat up. And use the entire building uh, as the coop. All right, so I was supposed to film this uh, and forgot. But basically what we've done is we're, we put 
two four by fours underneath you can see that and then there we had a jack on it here and then a four by four on this side and we rotated the building so that because we wanted it rotated so we spun the building around with the side by side now we need to jack it back up get the blocks out from under it and hopefully try and tow it i've already dug up some dirt there but the concept is to put the chicken coop right here in this gravel next to the shop in between the shop and the house all right let's jack it up All right, second attempt, we put logs, fairly round birch logs under it. See if we can do this. I'm trying to do it with side by side so I don't have to get the truck. Got it into position. It was a little bit harder than I expected, but yeah, all this gravel is really loose and uh, it's from when we built the house. It just never settles. It's a lot of cobble here. Anyways, we got the coop where it's gonna go and it's time to level it and then we'll get the chicken run put out. Just so everybody knows, the chicken coop's ready for the chickens and we're gonna try and catch them and put them in the We're gonna coop. try and catch them one at a time or so two at a time. Should be a good chicken rodeo. Yeah, it should be funny. All right. Here we go. Okay. Just, I'm, I'm playing, playing defense here. Got him? Okay, I'm gonna try and grab one. Huge. It looks huge to those little birds. Yeah.
Okay, so we didn't get to film a lot towards the end here. We were in a hurry. The chickens were too big for the brooder. They needed to get in the chicken coop. So filming and building is just a slow process. So I just needed to get done, but I want to show you what we did that we didn't film. So come on. Uh, basically you saw us build the wall. What you didn't see was us putting up the chicken wire. So we put chicken wire up to kind of give the division between the two sides. But you can see when the chicks are down and they're uh, pullet size and they're going to get an introduction to the actual uh, flock, they can come in and out of this side of the coop. And then with it open like this, the birds, as they're uh, full size and they don't need an introduction anymore or a safe place to go, they can all, they can use the entire coop. So for right now, we're using it for storage of feed, some hay bales and bedding material so so on this side here the uh, this is the full coop side so let's go check this out so on this side you can see for now i'm temporarily putting their food and water in here because they're going to be in here for uh, a little bit until they're used to this being their home and then over here is the nesting boxes you didn't see me build I have four nesting boxes. They're 12 inch by 12 inch. And I built an insulated access door from the outside to be able to come in, get the eggs without having to come into the coop. Over here is the, the roosting uh, poles. So I may change that a little bit. I'm not sure we're kind of playing with how we want those, but for now that's where they'll be roosting. All right, let's go outside and check out the door, access door for the eggs. Okay, so here's the access door I built to get our eggs. So we can just come around this side, open it up. And then it just pulls open. I have full access to the eggs and to the nesting boxes here. It's a nice insulated door so I can keep the coop warm in the winter time. Very simple, not having to go inside the coop walking through all their poop and whatnot so okay so we put a gutter system on this side of the coop and we're going to do rank catchment it'll come across uh, once it's completed it will come across down to the downspout to a barrel which will then feed across to the run on the outside i'll have a water nipples outside and i'll be able to just automatically feed it from rainwater so this is our chicken door that we built so the pin is right here we pull the pin and we can raise the door and then we can lower the door, raise the door up, put the pin back in, it'll hold the door open, lower the door and it's nice and secure so nothing can get in. Our ramp is built to fold up. And once it folds up, I can bungee it for portability when we're gonna transport this coop. There we go, it's up and then it can come down for the chicks to spend the day in the yard. There we go. So here in the run area, this is a 10 by 10 dog kennel. And we put, instead of the chain link fence, we put this hardware cloth to keep out. We have ermine and weasel type animals up here that we need to keep out of the, uh, out of the uh, chicken coop. And then of course uh, we have um, fox that run around here too so this should do the job and again I'm very flexible I can change it if I have to so we're building a roof so I have a covered area in the run for putting my food and my water outside so I don't have to have that in the coop and it's still protected from the weather plus it gives the chickens an area where they can come outside in inclement weather especially in the winter time and they don't have to worry about uh, piles of snow they have to deal with so Part of the coop will be open, no roof, and part of it will be roofed over. Hey, so thank you for spending the time watching the videos with us. This chicken coop build, this is uh, coop build number four. It's been weeks of construction, but I'm super proud of a heavy duty, portable, insulated chicken coop that we've built here in Alaska. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment if you have any suggestions for the coop, for the birds, we're new to this whole thing. So thank you for watching. We appreciate your support and we'll see you next time.